In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the Tascam DR07X and the Zoom H1N audio portable recorders and why I think one of them is good and the other one is completely useless. This is the Zoom H1N recorder. It's been around for many years now. Uh, it's quite a reliable little recorder. Uh, there is loads of reviews on YouTube about how to use it and all the features. Um, but one thing that I don't see many YouTubers doing, and this is something that can have quite an impact when you're recording um, outdoors audio, is the following. And it's a very simple thing. You should do that when you first get it. And it's this. Can you hear that clicking noise? The, build, the quality of the materials of this recorder are... <laughs> just, just so bad, you know. Understandable is on a, you know, under under hundred dollars uh, recorder, so you cannot expect to get the same quality in recorders that cost thousands of pounds or dollars. But you would expect that the buttons would be tight, you know, because this clicking noise does get recorded when you when you are outdoors. Now, obviously, you can hold. There is a little button here that holds the. Uh, the settings and nothing works on the, uh, the recorder so you can do that but there will be situations and instances where you forget to do that or you just don't have the time to do it and you might be in a situation where there is a little vibration and this clicking noise does make it into the recording and all you need is just one bad audio in a particular job and it can cost you a lot of money or a reputation so it's worth knowing this uh, I bet not many people know about these when they first get it. I did reach out to Zoom and asking them whether this was an issue just uh, from a batch or whether that this was an inherent design flaw and this is what they told me. As you can clearly see they admit themselves that it's a design flaw so it's worth knowing that uh, you do need to bear that in mind. Uh, especially for outdoors recording, because this is what I'm interested in. Uh, I do a lot of uh, binaural and um, stereo recording, long takes, an hour, two hours. So for me, these issues can be quite, quite important. Uh, the recorder is very nice. It has an XY configuration, and I have to say, it works really, really well. There is no interference of any kind. Uh, Zoom has done a very good job on this. And obviously you do have the standard features that everybody knows about, um, you know, the, the, um, the audio settings for recording, it gives you the option to go MP3 or WAF, uh, you should always stay on WAF uh, 40, uh, 48k, uh, you should only go to 44.1 if you're recording instruments uh, and maybe 96k if you do some special effects that you might need to slow down so you get that extra uh, information in the file but normally for voice recording uh, content creation and, and filming you just do, you stick to 48k uh, WAF. I try to avoid mp3 because the signal is really bad and you want to start with the best possible uh, audio signal. The gain wheel on the uh, H1N is uh, actually really nice and it's very well made uh, but there is a couple of things worth knowing uh, and one of them particularly important. Um, from 10 to 6 you will do a really nice uh, job um, but somewhere between six and five, roughly around five and a half, it might change slightly from recorder to recorder. Suddenly the input noise goes up without you doing anything. And that happens uh, between five and a half and three and a half. So it's worth bearing that in mind. Suddenly you get some noise uh, with no explanation. Now you know it. But most importantly is that from three and a half to zero, the attenuation goes from analog to digital. And what this means is that if your sound is clipping at three and a half, it will be clipping all the way down to zero. So this is very important. So my advice is to stick to somewhere between 10 and six. And if you need to reduce down to three and a half, four, just bear in mind that you're gonna have additional noise and there is nothing you can do about it. And be mindful of the fact that anything that you plug into the recorder, uh, if you touch it or you move it, you will get the sound recorded. The same applies to the handling of the recorder. Anything that you do, if you're using the stereo record, the stereo, the stereo microphones, whatever you do, if you touch it, the handling, it will get recorded on the, uh, on the file. 
The Tascam DR07X, it's very similar to the Zoom H1N. I mean, at this price range and this type of recorders, they more or less do the same thing. The adjustment volumes obviously are different because the Zoom H1N has them on the side here. You can adjust the volume, the headphones volume or the output volume here. And the input level, you can adjust it here. Whereas on the Zoom H1N, you would have the wheel here at the top. Here, you just adjust this. Uh, some people will prefer the wheel, some people prefer this, you know, to be honest with you, it doesn't make too much of a difference. Uh, that's personal taste. There is something to be said about the DR07X in terms of audio recording over the Zoom recorder. With the H1N, you don't even need the micro SD card to hear sound, so that's already very helpful. And then you just press the record button once a little red light pops and then you know that you're recording sound. Very easy, impossible to get it wrong. With the Tascam, however, you first need to insert the micro SD card and then press the record button once in order to hear sound. So that's already confusing to start with. Then you need to press the record button again in order to record sound. And that whole process, it really is confusing, especially if you're not used to the workflow. Uh, you could be recording for, well, thinking that you're recording for 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour, God knows, two hours, to then find out that you haven't actually recorded anything. <laughs> and it can happen easily, okay? So this is worth, worth bearing in mind. It is a little bit bigger than the Zoom H1N, as you can see, you know, both side by side. But uh, what the Tascam does and the Zoom H1N doesn't is this. And uh, when you do that, every single time the recorder asks you whether you want to change from uh, X, Y to A, B in this instance, uh, which we don't, we do. And if you then switch to X, Y, it will ask you whether you want to go from A, B to X, Y, which you do want. Both are extremely sensitive recorders, so especially the uh, the, uh, the stereo microphone. So. Any handling of the recorders while you're recording will make it into the recorded sound. So any adjustment of the volumes or the inputs or anything will be recorded. So you need to bear that in mind. If you are outdoors, uh, like I said, the, the microphones are extremely sensitive. Get yourself some protection uh, or uh, a wind jammer or fluffy as they call it, because the minimum brace will make these recorders peak they are that sensitive um, but enough talking uh, let's see how they get on in the streets which is what really matters and uh, let's see which one performs better so here we are in the city center what better place to test these recorders they're in a place with loads of people mobile phones radio frequencies of all sorts nothing that these recorders shouldn't be able to handle quite comfortably um, but look uh, let's just get on and see how they perform this is as busy as it's ever gonna get in terms of mobile phones and radio frequencies it's an absolute pandemonium with this recorder it goes away and it comes back and as you can see you know we are in a normal not very busy street so there should not be any issues with interferences but clearly there is Let's see how the um, Zoom H1N handles this. So we are in the same spot. And the Zoom has no interference whatsoever. Other than the helicopter that is flying above us. As you can see, same spot. Particularly 
again. Here. Why this happens, I have absolutely no idea. But again, you know, it's a busy road, but nothing unusual. No interference of any kind. It's, it's not just a stretch of the road, it's, it's constantly, oh my god. Wow, that was in less than 10 minutes, three or four blocks, and we got three massive interferences. The Tascam, oh my god, it's so bad. Anything for outdoor stereo recording is an absolute no. <laughs> How can they make something so bad? Oh, here we go again. If you're still not convinced how bad this uh, Tasca recorder is and you think that this interference is only happening in specific places or very isolated areas, let me show you exactly what it means to be walking around and having these interferences for the best part of 30 seconds to a minute. I mean, that was probably the worst sound recording experience of my entire life. Uh, I, I have no words to describe how bad the task of recorder is. But look, uh, let's just see how the Zoom uh, H1N performs side by side, same spot. It could well be that the Zoom is just as bad, although I have a feeling that uh, it will be pristine. In terms of line input, both recorders are very similar. You get a three and a half mil uh, input jack. Uh, I'm outdoors, so I may as well just uh, test my binaural microphones uh, and see which recorder actually performs better. I have a feeling that the Zoom will do uh, will do better than the Tascam, but hey, you know, maybe the Tascam surprises. Uh, it's gonna do something good for Granite Lab. Interesting test so far, uh, one recorder completely obliterates the other one so far, uh, but begin to see how they record when talking directly into the stereo mics. 
This is how the Tascam DRO7X stereo internal mic sounds outdoors in a real life situation. This is how the Zoom H1N internal stereo mic sounds outdoors in a real life situation. As you can see, the DRO7X is not a recorder you can rely on. I cannot recommend it. Uh, anything to do with outdoors is an absolute no-go. Uh, it's a shame because I, I do love the fact that it goes from XY to AB, uh, but you know, the, the proof is in the pudding, um, it just doesn't work. Uh, if you're thinking on buying it, just don't. If you recently purchased one, return it. Um, if you want to stay in this uh, budget range, get yourself a Zoom H1N. It's a very handy little recorder, it's reliable and it will perform well. Uh, I put links uh, below. Um, I'll be upgrading to the Tascam DR. 40X uh, because it has also the same sort of XYAB configuration and theoretically uh, it has better internal components and microphones. Uh, I'll be doing a review of, of that recorder over the coming weeks. If you want to stick to the zoom range you can go for the H4M Pro. Uh, it's been around for many years so the H5 or the H6. Um, you get additional flexibility of XLR inputs uh, and they're very, very reliable recorders, but you are stuck to the XY configuration. If you're looking for an AB stereo configuration in this price range, you you know, you know have to deal with Tascam. So hopefully the DR40X will be better than, than, this, than this rubbish. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel and help us grow and keep going and doing videos on a weekly basis. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.